Great um, afternoon, 1245. I just got back home. Um, I decided I didn't want to sit here for the morning. Um, so I went out. I went to uh, Starbucks, got a nice big coffee. Then I decided to go up to the mountain and uh, just let go of some of this stuff. And uh, it really does do the trick. I went out to the mountains and uh, took Mr. Max out for a walk out there. Now he's over here sleeping again. <laughs> Tongue out. <laughs> so he's over here resting, but he had a nice walk out by the mountain today too. Um, it was beautiful out there. The mountains have snow on them today and the clouds were covering and I did some video. I might put that up in a while with some music. And um, then I drove back and I drove by the place where she was hit. You know, I was kind of not really wanting to go by there. And, uh, but, um, I went ahead and drove by there and let go of that and saw she had a nice big run, <laughs> okay. <laughs> she had a nice big run. And, uh, you know, I know she's on the other side running free and so she will be very happy there. There are no more restrictions. She can just run to her heart's content and uh, just enjoy it over there. So. You know, no, I'm happy for her that she's in a place where where she can just have her freedom, you know, just run and be happy with that. So I um, had a couple calls. Thank you for calling, Jen Lynn. I do so appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I had a few calls from people, and so thank you, thank you for that. Um, I had some beautiful flowers. Thank you, Sachi, for the beautiful flowers. So I have those up and they made sure to tell me how to take care of them. Cut it by two inches. You know, every day you cut them down and put fresh water and they'll stay for a while. So they let me know how to take care of those. So I will do that. And uh, no, I feel so much better now. Um, I just had to get out of it and air things out, you know, and uh, it really does help, you know, to go out into nature and just, you know, let let it pass, let it let it go, you know, because no matter what happens to them, they're on the other side. They're healthy. They're fine. They're well, you know. Um, so, you know. All I can do is be happy for her that she's over there and she can run and have her freedom and there are no more restrictions anymore. She can run to her little heart's content. <laughs> so, um, run and be free, Miss Gypsy Moon. That's why she's gypsy, okay? Because she's a goer, okay? Gypsy. She came on a full moon. I got her on a full moon and Miss Gypsy is a gypsy at heart. She wants to be free and to run. And so now she's got it. And we were just fortunate to have her for what time we did have her here. Um, definitely was a light. Okay. <laughs> she, she did. She did. Did like to tear up and, and you know, have any piece of paper. Man, I've got paper over here, so now, <laughs> yeah, I need to, uh, you know, clean up, clean up and get rid of her toys and her clothing and all of that today and uh, sweep up all the paper that she's got <laughs> from one end of the house to the other and... Uh, just wish her well on her journey. You know, that's all. We'll see her again on the other side. And uh, like I said, I know she's over there playing with Miss Roddy and Raj and Chico Suave. And uh, they're all over there having a great time. And so, you know, that's fine. 
So love and light. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you online.